Thank you very much, Lynn Woodbury. We love you. We appreciate you. Next time, bring your paintings. Bring your jazz band. Bring us uh, some paella. Amen. It's been a good day. And uh, the ministers, and there's a lot of delegates that started this morning at 9 o'clock. That's right. Uh, we, are, we are delighted with all of you that joined us later this evening. And again, uh, we are delighted and we give honor to all of you who are newly licensed and all of you who are newly ordained in the work of the gospel. And we look forward to the many souls who will be saved. That's what it's about. More people to be one to Jesus Christ and his glory spread more. Amen? Amen. Amen. So um, as we stand together, I invite uh, Reverend Paul Johnson or Reverend Johnson Hall <laughs> to come forward, please. And uh, let's stand. Let's all stand. Yes, uh, Reverend Paul is going to bring the closing prayer. And as soon as he does, we would like a group photograph of all of the ministers up here. The, the, the new ones and the old ones. Or we'll just get up here. And uh, Bryant, if you get someone to help, uh, we'll need you in, in the photo as well. Reverend Paul. Praise God. This is a closing prayer for this session. Igniting prayer for licensed ministers and uh, strengthening prayer for ordained ministers and encouraging prayer for all clergy. Let us close our eyes. Dear Holy Father, in the name of Jesus, we are thankful for your presence, for your loving word. Thank you that you have chosen us and appointed us that we may bear fruit. Father, thank you bringing us to this great family of uh, not only International Pentecostal Church, but the family of International Pentecostal Holiness Church. Because you have called us, all of us, to be holy because you are your God, holy God. Father, I pray thee in your servant for the obedience that we may walk in our calling and obedience in obeying you, obeying your will in our lives. And I pray for the wisdom. When we preach the gospel, let it be a power in our time to heal, Amen. to restore, and to establish. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus for everyone here who is present, every heart who is broken, every discouraged heart, every broken heart, every sick body, be healed and restored in Jesus' mighty name. And make us a blessing to this nation that may people declare that they are the children of a living God. All this we ask and receive in great faith in the name of your Son and our Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I request all you saints agree with me in saying, Amen and Amen. God bless you all. Thank you.